Hello friends, I am Jan and you are watching Joe Steve Vlogs. In this video, I will be showing you about my pet birds. So, let's get into the video. So, now I will be showing you about the cage which I made for my birds. I built this cage with the help of my family. I just wanted to share the experience with you. So, first let's look at the frame of the cage. The welding part was a real challenge. So after welding I started to paint all these parts. I attached a little door so that I can access into the cage. I bought this mesh and tied it up with tags to the frame. I attached some pots so that the birds can have it as their nests. So let's talk about the birds inside. I have 4 budgies and 1 finch. The budgies or the bajarigas are widely known as domestic birds. This bird is generally termed parakeet in the US. They usually grow between uh, 6 to 7 inches long and has a lifespan up to 10 years. These small birds usually are to be seen in 4 colors. The budgies are a native of Australia and it's very hard to find a wild budgie in India. Budgies are one of the low cost pet birds in India. So these budgies costed me about uh, 400 rupees. I feed these birds with millets and fruits like uh, banana, apple, etc. The maintenance of this bird is very less. You will just need a packet of uh, millets and some time to spend with the birds. When I bought these birds, they were too shy to interact with humans. But now, they are still the same. <laughs> it is very hard to differentiate between uh, male and female in budgies. But the simplest way to differentiate is by the color of their nostrils. This is my little finch. I didn't know that uh, finches and uh, budgies cannot be left together. So this is the problem which I faced. He is totally hurt by the budgies. Coming over to the climatic conditions, budgies can withstand the cold climate but uh, it cannot withstand the heat. So the budgies have gone back to their homes. So coming over to our next birds. So these are my emus. I have them since they were 6 months old. Emus are flightless bird and it is the national bird of Australia. Both the emus are with a dark grey head and a bluish neck as you can see. They grow up to 6 feet tall and has a maximum weight of uh, 45 kilos. The lifespan of an emu is up to 10 to 15 years. Talking about this bird's eggs, these birds uh, lay eggs which are 5 times bigger than the size of a chicken egg. Usually the female emus do not incubate the eggs whereas the male emu incubate eggs up to 8 to 10 eggs at a time. During the breeding season, these emus have a peculiar sound with a loud booming note. Emus lay egg during the month of uh, October to February. Uh, the breeding season starts for an emu when it's around 2 years old. Emus are a type of birds which can adjust to any type of climatic conditions. It loves to be in water and they can uh, live without uh, shelter too. These birds eat all kinds of fruits, uh, leafy vegetables, there are many trees in my farm so that uh, it, it acts as a shelter to the emus. It cannot adjust to excessive heat. An interesting fact about emu is, they do not put their heads down to the ground when they are sleeping. If they do that, we can see that they are in some problem. In this emu pen, we have uh, a neem tree, a goa tree, the one which is near you is a mango tree, a coconut tree and a black plum tree. Emus usually feed on these seasonal fruits. There are a lot of grass in the emu pen. I'll be soon uploading a video so, uh, about how I clean this emu farm.
So that's all friends. Hope you liked the video of my pet birds. If you do so, please hit the like button and share this video to many friends. Subscribe to my channel. Signing out now and meet you in the next video from Josty Vlogs.